What's going on, guys? Welcome. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gaming with the Bros Cast. What's going on? Episode number 61. Today is, guess what? January 31st, the end of January. Wow. Already a month down. Yeah, I know, right? It's been uh it's been a crazy, crazy month already. Uh mm-hmm. and uh I would say it's been better. <laughs> yeah, 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 comparatively, I, I would say so, yeah. Uh, it was it was a crazy first like two weeks and then everything kind of uh slowed down I guess once uh <laughs> you know once presidency <laughs> shifted and stuff like that so yeah it's yeah. uh yeah feel, feels good to be here with you on Sunday Nick and uh we got some we got some couple new exciting games that came out this week that we that were looking forward yes. to looking yes, forward to do. playing or uh, talking about I should say um me and Nick have both beaten the medium which is. <laughs> The big, the biggest game I would say to come out this week, and uh, yeah, it was you know we'll we'll talk about it here very shortly, but um, but yeah, excited to. I was, uh, I was wondering, I was wondering if you were gonna finish it. I I, I stopped playing. I, I played a lot on Saturday. I played probably about three hours on Saturday, and then I got yeah. to the very end, or at least the last. What I felt like was the end, and then I stopped, and then I played for about thirty minutes today, and and finished it up. Finish it off. Um, yeah, so I was pretty close. I should have just played it, finished it yesterday or on Saturday, but uh, mm. it, it don't matter. I don't. I wasn't really trying to. I wasn't like rushing to get through it for the show, but um, not yeah. not a super long game. But I'm okay with that. You know, it was it was a good. It, it was experience. a breath of fresh air coming yeah. from uh, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed. Which, <laughs> yeah. which I've not played this week for the first time in probably two months. I've wow. not played Assassin's Creed. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Um. But yeah, let's. Uh, how how was uh, how was your week this week? Just busy, just a lot of work. You know, I've. I mean, luck, luckily, I've had time to to get in a little bit of of gaming this week. But yeah, I mean, it's been been working until like 10, 10 o'clock at night, pretty much every night, and and working this weekend as well. So it's been been pretty draining, but getting semi close to to the end i can can see the light at the end of the tunnel (laughs) so maybe maybe two more weeks and then i'll be like almost in the clear yeah um that's good yeah but it's it's yeah it's a lot but 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 it's i don't know it's it's a lot different like working from home and working until like 10 o'clock compared to working in the office like it's just there, there's something about the camaraderie of being in the office that almost makes it kind of fun. Like, oh, it sucks, yeah. but like we're all here together. We're all, it all sucks. You know, suffering yeah, it's, together. It's, yeah, everybody's suffering together when you're at home. It's just a, it's a little bit different. So yeah, definitely, yeah. Uh, definitely understand that for sure. Yeah, but aside from that, it's been good. I, I went hiking on Saturday. Went to Crowder's Mountain. Okay. Um, nice. It's a pretty short hike, like two yeah. hours. You, you, you've, I mean, we've done it together a few times. Yeah. Um, but it was fun. Yeah, it started snowing on the hike, which is cool. Yeah, we got um we got a little bit of snow where we live. It was like mostly freezing rain, and then no, I think well we we woke up on Thursday, and there was like the lightest of snow coverings. I mean, to the, to a point where you could still see the grass. Um, mm-hmm. and then we got a little bit of snow last night for it was amazing. It was ma- mainly sleet, and then apparently we're supposed to get some more snow tonight, but. I'm not expecting really? it to do anything, um, but still waiting for like that first good yeah. snowfall. But I'm sad. I'm sad. I left DC because it DC got like three inches, three to five oh, inches wow. of snow. And I know some people who are listening to this are gonna be like, "Oh my god, that's that's nothing." But yeah, you know, exactly. compared to North Carolina, like <laughs> yeah, we don't that's get a solid amount. Yeah, that, especially yeah. recently. Yeah, I'm hoping we at least get like three or four inch snowfall at some point this year um you know just to get out and go sled and stuff but that's just not it hasn't really been snowing like that here in the past several years so So what can you do well how was your week Uh, it was good i mean it was same old kind of same old same old um didn't really do much this weekend or whatever um Hmm. yeah just kind of a boring week i guess (laughs) <laughs> I'm still good because I'm still. It's good, yeah. It's good. Yeah, pretty pretty easy work wise. I mean, nothing nothing too crazy. 
Um, but but yeah, it was a, it was a good week, and um, looking forward to the the Super Bowl on Sunday, and we'll watch that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm, I'm for I guess for any football fans, I'm I'm pulling for the Buccaneers. I, I want Tom Brady to win one last time and possibly retire. Um, but I he's don't not, know if he will. I don't think I think he'll play until he's at least 45. I think he turns 40 this year or is already four i can't remember but i think he'll play for at least another year at the buccaneers if they regardless if they win or lose but uh, i pull, pull for brady i i never i never would thought i'd be pulling for him but i think it's just because i hate i hated the patriots so much that yeah now that he's not on there it's like oh like yeah now he's actually a really cool guy <laughs> it's like you know it's him that's you know yeah. carrying the team at this point like he's he's gone to a super bowl with three different teams right just or more two. Just two. just two. He's just been on the Patriots. <laughs> yeah, he's been on the Patriots for like twenty years or something crazy. Oh wow! Like, okay. Or like eighteen years. I think he came into the league at like two thousand two or two thousand one. So <laughs> this is his first year without the Patriots, his second team. So pretty oh. crazy that he goes to the Super Bowl with them. And it's the freaking Buccaneers that of all all teams. Yeah, but, really. But yeah, look, looking forward to that. Um, does ahead, he have enough ahead. rings to cover both hands now? Or he's got six. He's got six rings. Six. It's been a ten different Super Bowls, so Jesus. But yeah, looking forward to that next week. Um, but yeah, I'm just ready to ready to dive into this this medium talk. Before we do, yeah, let's uh, let's talk about Cyber Shadow. You okay. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that came out this week, and we we, we got to give it a little bit of a little bit of shine here. Um, D- yeah, I didn't realize that it's published by Yacht Club. It's not developed by. So yeah, yeah, I I, I didn't realize that. As well, because I mean, it play in the game. I mean, it, 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 I think it borrows some assets from um, uh, Shuffle Knight because, like, I, you could just kind of see it, but maybe, maybe that's just the 8 bit style mm. that I'm like used to. But, um, but yeah, it's it's developed by one guy, I think. Um, yeah, one guy, and then he he brought on Yacht Club as a publisher, and I think they helped yeah. him see, like, you know, just the last year of, of development. Yeah, I think they, I think they helped with like music too. Mm-hmm. But um, I am about four hours into it, three, four hours, something like that. Really like it. I like it a lot. I mean, it was at first it was it was pretty. I mean, it's, it's a hard game. Um, it's yeah, it's way harder than like a uh, shovel knife just for comparison. But I mean, they're they're pretty pretty different, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I really just I I've enjoyed all the boss fights for the most part. I you know I felt like after dying a several times, I knew kind of what I needed to do. To beat him and i never really felt like it was super cheap yeah. um i mean some some of like even just getting through like the enemies to like the next checkpoint could be pretty challenging for some parts mm-hmm. um and, and, the, and the game really i think opens up once you start getting like some of the upgrades and, and able to do like an up attack and down attack and stuff like that because like it's a pretty okay. pretty basic damage at a or pretty pretty basic maneuvering um at the, at the beginning at the very beginning but how, how far are I you think into that's it? where i'm at okay I, i'm i think i just finished chapter two so I, there is a um like a brain boss okay uh, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that was a really cool fight because it, it was tough but like every time i every time i faced the boss i learned a little bit yeah and by the end of it i was like like I, I think i did it without really taking any damage by the end yeah by like the fifth fourth or fifth try and yeah like i really like the bosses so far because they're not cheap they're difficult yeah but you learn a little bit every time every time you face them yeah um, yeah it does, it does a good job of like just you know every every big boss fight you get like a new ability and stuff mm-hmm. um and so far i've gotten i think most all of them there's, I think there's two left i don't have but they're all really cool and useful so okay that's I don't. I guess I don't want to spoil anything, as far as what you get, because they are cool to get once once you um, beat the boss fights. But mm-hmm. but yeah, really, really, really good game. Um, I like it a lot. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. I I don't have a lot unlocked yet. I think I just have like the throwing stars, the shurikens or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So I think that's it. Like I don't have a I don't have an up attack or a down attack. I, I'm really oh, wow. wanting okay. a down attack. Yeah, yeah I, it, wanna, it doesn't, I wanna play like Shovel Knight. Yeah, it, it comes in handy when it needs to, but I haven't used the down attack that much in com, you know in comparison to, to other things. Um mm-hmm. 
but yeah, yeah, having that down attack is, is pretty fun. Just just to compare with like Shovel Knight, because that's like the big Shovel Knight move. So yeah, yeah. It's, Any it's, other? Uh, I really liked it. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I, I was kind of iffy on it at first, and then once I like once I got the shurikens, uh, I, it kind of opened up for me, and I was like, oh, okay, I see what this game is, and then I I was able to have more fun with it. But it's, it's one of those though. games where where it's re- like I don't know if I want to say really hard, but it's definitely harder at first. But once you start unlocking like things incrementally, it gets a lot easier. Yeah, I don't know yeah, what definitely. that compares to, but. Yeah, and like the checkpoints are pretty good. I mean, there's, I mean, I died a lot and, and got a little frustrated with some of this stuff, um, mm-hmm. especially like, especially not having an up attack for, for most of the part because this flying enemies in those games can be pretty yeah, annoying it's because it's hard, it's just hard to hit them sometimes when you need to because you, you don't have, when you don't have your, you know, your up attack, or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. But but once you once you do get that, it makes it a little bit more manageable as far as those enemies go. But I mean, there's a lot of like en- enemy varieties and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I, I'm looking for I'm looking forward to like I'm four hours in and I, I think I'm like 36 percent done with it. I just I don't know if that I'm sure that like correlates into like uh like unlockables and stuff that I haven't gotten. But it seems like yeah, it's I be heard like, it, I heard it was around six long. hours. Yeah, yeah, I've, that that sounds about right because I've got two more slots to get. Um, okay, so that, that sounds about right. Man, I'm liking these shorter games recently. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, after, especially after coming from Assassin's Creed. God, that game is. I loved every minute of it, but it is such a long game. Such a long game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, you want to uh, you want to jump into the medium? Yeah, have you played? Have you been playing anything else besides uh, those two games before we jump in? No, that's it. Okay, just cool. yeah, just those two. So yeah, well, let's let's jump into the medium. Uh, no, no spoilers or anything, uh, especially since it's brand new. But like I said at the top of the show, we have both finished it. It is not a very long game by any means, but it's a uh, it's an experience, and and I think it's a it's a really mm-hmm. really good one for anybody that's. I mean, if it's on Game Pass for free, if you have it, we'll just. Started off there, and yeah, uh, yeah we, we should also note it's um it's exclusive to the Series X and S, yeah. so you can't play it on on previous gen consoles. So yeah, Nick, impressions. What what did you think about this game? Was it kind of what you expected it to be, or a little less, a little more? It was pretty in line with what I expected from from a Bluebird team game. Yeah, like I know, I know they don't do any combat. I know their their games even though i haven't really played much of what they've made i know their their games are very story driven mm-hmm. um, i played a little bit of layers of fear and that one was kind of more subtly story driven like you kind of had to piece things together yourself but with the medium they had like full-fledged cutscenes, and yeah you know that that's kind of that was kind of the driving factor behind the game so it, it was pretty in line with what i expected but I had a great time, like, just diving into the story, reading every note I came across. Where I don't really do that in a lot of games. Cause... Yeah, I read everything, and I'm, yeah. I'm the same way. Like, I'll, I'll read some stuff, but like for the most part, I just don't really care enough to to read it. Um, but yeah, every, yeah. Every, like I was just so engrossed in like the world. It was just, yeah, I loved it, man. I just loved like the story. Uh, I mean, I, I really like the the main character um mm-hmm. marianne and then you know obviously going through that story and then like uh troy baker's performance as the mall and the it, oh my god he's he was so creepy so creepy man Ugh, it was it's like the 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 lines of him saying like all right he kept he said this like a hundred times but like i can't wait to wear you or like oh it's super my creepy. little skin suit yeah my little skin suit like, like that so freaky, let, let's man. let's talk about let's talk about the mall itself um did, so like did you love the encounters with them all did, did some of them kind of there, some of them were kind of hit or miss for me um like that first encounter i had to we'll just say it's a chase scene but like i had to turn oh, up my, yeah i had to turn up the brightness for that specifically that scene because i could not see where to turn like it just it kept and then like it's it's a one hit, you know, if he touches you, you're dead. So I mean and there's no weapons in the game or anything like that for the most part. 
Uh, I mean, you have like your your spirit abilities, but you, I mean, you don't have guns or anything like that. So you mm-hmm. just have to avoid this this uh, this creature in the game. But yeah, that first that first chase scene, like I got a, I died a few times on that just because like I did I too. Got frustrated and I had to turn the brightness up. But and and like I I kept running into the um the moths, and I thought I had okay. to deflect them or use my use my shield ability, but. I just had to like turn another way and run another yeah. direction. So yeah. I, yeah, I, I had to restart that a few times, maybe four or five. But aside from that, like, I never really had to redo a lot of encounters because I mean there yeah. were only a handful of encounters with yeah, with them all. Yeah, um, yeah, it was uh, yeah, they don't they don't over do it with those encounters and like and i'm glad mm-hmm. that not every encounter was like a chase scene like it was like a more of like a, a stealth you know scenario where you had to kind of but like the the one specifically because i mean the game wasn't super scary i, I wish it was mm-hmm. a little bit more you know creepier um yeah even, think, even yeah. like the uh the spirit world wasn't super it was creepy. just it was just cool to look at like it was just yeah it was kind of kind of stunning yeah, and I like I enjoyed every time you use like the razor to cut through like the skin, like it oh. was just I never got tired of it. Like the first time I did this, I was like, oh man, how many times we're back gonna do this in the game? And you, and you do it, I don't know, ten or fifteen times, and it's just satisfying. Just cut through it. It's like that was weird. That but... was that was Alicia's least favorite part of the game. Oh really? I mean, it's not like overly <laughs> grotesque though, and so it's no, it's not. I, can, can you make it go any faster by orienting your joystick in any way? Because like, I don't think sometimes so. I thought it was going a little faster. I was like, "Oh, am I doing something differently?" But yeah, I don't. I don't it, think so. Maybe, I, but I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, yeah I mean, okay. just, good. So let's kind of break it down a little bit. So the game's made up of kind of encounters with with the mall. Yeah, and then you have all the puzzles throughout the game um you have just like basic exploration cutscenes. yeah how do you how do you feel about the puzzles i liked them and there was like, there was a couple that were i mean not really any of them um gave me too much trouble they were not easy enough to where it was boring but they were just kind of i don't know kind of medium i guess difficulty mm-hmm. I mean, it was nothing like most of it was just finding a piece and inserting it in a spot you know for, yeah. for the mo- like that's kind of the most of the game um but just finding all of like the letters and stuff like that while you're doing that it just it's really cool and, and it, it really it kind of breaks up the experience from like you know doing the mall stuff and then you know, there's there's other creatures in the game which is pretty cool too um i don't really want to spoil any of that because yeah all, like, yeah like, major really... spoiler stuff but um yeah, I mean that like just just the the puzzle themselves were, I mean not crazy. They weren't crazy interesting, but they were. I mean they were fun enough to to keep me engaged with the game. There's one. There's one particularly at the end, and it's like the, kind of the big puzzle at the end. That one was pretty cool. And I don't want to oh, yeah, yeah. say anything about it, but but that that was probably my probably my favorite one, just because it was like a little bit more complex than the others. And yeah, yeah, but I liked. it. Like like the puzzles that yeah nothing really overstated its welcome yeah. in this game which which I really appreciate like it was kind of a shorter experience you know five or six hours but you know for for all the parts that make up this game nothing really you know I, I never got to a part and I was like oh yeah you know, I gotta do this puzzle or I gotta have yeah. this encounter yeah I just I, I I it's it's very rare but there wasn't like a, a spot in this game that I just didn't like at all like even. It, how how do you feel like about the uh, the split screen stuff? Because like so th- the game is you're you're a medium and you can see in both the physical world and like the spirit world. But it's really mm-hmm. cool because like when you go into the spirit world, it cuts your screen in half. So like you're you're still playing as the same character, but you're in two different worlds. So you can you know interact with objects in you know the spirit world that you can't in the physical and and like vice versa. And then like you know if you're you know, there's like a staircase in the physical world that's broken. You can, you know, and maybe in the spirit world, it's not or something. So it's, it gives you options of like, you know, leaving your physical body behind and being able to explore on your own in the spirit world. Um, yeah, I don't know. All, all that stuff was just, was just really cool and, and really well done, I think. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, I guess I'm kind of I'm kind of torn on that part because like for, like one it like it, it didn't do it too much so it, it's not like it was like shoving it in your face you know like all the split screen stuff. Yeah. Um, I I didn't really <laughs> like the parts where you kind of leave your body and explore on like on the other side and and go yeah. do all that stuff and you're kind of like time limited too because you you're like losing your your, your whatever essence of your body yeah i think if you get too far away it'll it'll uh it'll make you come back to your body but uh, i think the game does like a really good job with like that first initial like interaction with them all because anytime you're ever in the spirit world after that you're just like you know you're kind of tense because you never yeah. know uh because there's like one specific scene um that i'm not going to spoil but like you do something and like the mall like starts chasing you immediately and this is like pretty pretty early on after you, that first initial um part do you know what you know which part i'm talking about nick with like the 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 face where you have to like collect the mask or whatever and like you put it on and then like the mall jumps at you and then you have to like run to like the mirror to go back into the physical world oh yeah and then he comes into the physical world yeah so yeah that that's a that's a really that was a really cool part and and then anytime after that i was just like okay so at any point this thing's gonna come out of nowhere (laughs) so yeah it was it was pretty freaky like but you know there weren't too many jump scares so it was it was a lot more tension yeah than it was like oh like you know, something's gonna jump out of you, jump out of you and scare you, like yeah. that. Yeah, so I, I, I really liked it. Um, I don't know. I, I really liked the progression of the story, and I, I really had to like constantly remind myself of the names of all the characters because <laughs> you know they, they, they introduce like two or three characters at kind of at once. Yeah, they're all you know pretty generic, like white guy names so yeah well what i did is i turned on the settings for like the voice um for the subtitles to to where it actually says the name of someone who's talking oh, i should have done that i saw that setting but i didn't turn it on for whatever yeah because i i looked up i had gotten stuck at one point and i looked up a youtube video um it was it was one of the mall scenes chase mm-hmm. scenes and i was after i saw the video i was like oh i'm such an idiot but um for for most for most cases and stuff like that but <laughs> uh i saw on on that person's subtitle that had the name and I was like, well, let me get, and then I fixed it. And then, yeah, because like when you, when you start, yeah, getting towards like that middle of the game. And like you said, there's two or three characters that get introduced. It's, it's hard to tell who's talking because they're, they're kind of all si- kind very, of very similar. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I would, I would definitely want to do like a, a spoiler cast for this. Um, maybe we'll do it next week. We'll spend like 10 minutes or something. Yeah, and, and just talk yeah, about give, it because it's give people some time. I mean, it's a short yeah. game, so like, yeah, I'd be down for that. It's a, it's a really, I think it's a really good story. I mean, it's, it's, it's very, it's mm-hmm. a lot of like revelations in the in the story and and stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll yeah, uh, we'll do like, we'll do a spoiler cast next week. Um, you know, about 10, 15 minutes of the show, and uh, just kind of talk about the story because it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, it is pretty cool. D- did you have any trouble with? performance at all a little bit i had some some frame rate drops um i had a lot of pop in i saw texture pop in mm-hmm. um especially when you were like crashes first no crashes did you have some crashes okay. i had one crash it was in the chase scene where it was like it switched between the different worlds a few times okay near kind of i guess in the middle of the game i think i did crash yeah, I think yeah, I knew crash what the switch. About. Yeah, so that was that was kind of a bummer. And then, like you said, yeah, the, the texture pop ins were pretty pretty bad. Like even in the inventory screen, when you're looking, at yeah, stuff, not something you know, like you would kind of expect from like a Series X on the performance level. But it also is like two engines running at once. So yeah. I mean, it it wasn't like it didn't happen every single time I switched into another world or whatever. So. It wasn't really a, a huge deal. Um, I didn't realize this, that this game had gotten announced like for the 360 and PS3 days or era. They it said did. they had to like, yeah, they said they had to like 
put on pause or whatever and, and wait for more powerful hardware to do what they wanted to do um, with the game, which, yeah, I could never see something like this run on like the base Xbox one. It would just be Imagine terrible. The loading uh, times between, between the different worlds. Yeah. Be crazy. I was, I was thinking there was one more thing I wanted to talk about, but I can't think of it. How did you, how did you feel about the gameplay in general? Like the, the fixed camera? It it took a little bit to get for me to get used to. Um, it just it's just a, a basic, you know, camera. I mean, like fixed camera. It, you can get like especially in like the cutscenes. Um, I got or the chase scenes. I got a little bit disoriented trying to cut a corner because you know yeah. with the fixed cut fixed camera or whatever. Um, I don't I don't love fixed cameras in in video games, but this I thought this one worked pretty well. Uh, for the most part, H- had a couple of a couple of problems and kind of mm-hmm. like turning a corner and accidentally hitting the wall, because, you know. But um, other than that, I mean, I thought it was, I mean, I thought it was excellent. Yeah, like, and for a few of the kind of outside, like mo- like moments where you're outside and the and the yeah. game was kind of like cinematically placed. Yeah, like, there were moments where I was like, oh my god, like this game looks incredible. Yeah, yeah, it does. So it it kind of added to the the cinematics of it having that fixed camera that would kind of like pan out behind you or, or go over top of your head at various yeah. points i mean yeah i think it works cool. i mean yeah it's not an action game at all so it definitely yeah. it definitely works for for what it does i did have one uh game ending bug for me that i had to uh restart a save um it was uh, and i looked it up too and it was a pretty pretty popular bug that I think I think I patched, but um, I had to restart a save, and it, it was ten minutes that I wasted. But I had, I had, but the save I had loaded, um, I went through this area like two or three times, and you know, yeah. you every time I was going through, there was about seven or eight things I had to interact with, you know, just because I wanted to. Yeah. So I had to do that at like like four times, and then finally, oh, I like geez. reloaded a save and was able to. It didn't the the bug went away, but I was like, man, I was like, if I get stuck here, I'm gonna be so mad. But other than that, I mean, other than you know, a little bit of texture pop in and a little bit of like the frame rate dropping, um, mm-hmm. good experience, good experience. Yeah, man, this it was a good game. I I don't, I don't know. I feel like it came out at the perfect time. We were kind of yeah. itching for like a horror game, and yeah, you know, January is not not necessarily like a popular time for games to release so like it's yeah it's coming out at a good time they actually already recouped their development costs really game, which is pretty cool wow I don't know okay if, i don't know if, i don't know if they have like a well i'm sure they have a deal with microsoft for game pass like getting a percentage of download like percentage of some profits or i don't know something something yeah um that's awesome but yeah that's I mean, good for them. That's... Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of want to go back and finish up Blair Witch because, like, I, I feel like I was pretty close to the end. And yeah, going forward, I will play anything that they develop because I, I really like the story, um, and like the gameplay and stuff was was engaging enough for me without like being actiony. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, and hopefully there'll be a second medium. But yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely looking forward uh, to whatever they do next because it's. It's quite a good game, and and, and just the perfectly paced. Not not didn't stay over overstay its welcome like we mentioned. It was just a nice kind of fresh of breath there, you know. So fresh of breath there. Fre- wait, breath of <laughs> breath of fresh air. <laughs> fresh of breath there. <laughs> fresh of breath of the wild. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Any any what last thoughts do- on this game? Um. I don't think so i think we covered covered a good bit i mean i will say like if you're not a fan of horror games or if you're not a fan of i don't want to say walking simulators but but yeah. games that don't have like a lot of action this might be not might not be the game for you but since you and i are both fans of, of the horror genre and and kind of like this kind of stuff then yeah you know I yeah i would re- definitely I say give it a shot at least like that yeah, at least give it a shot. Yeah. Like, just get get to the point where you you're in the uh, the hotel, um, and then like you know once you get like that first glimpse of like the uh, the spirit world, 
And if you don't like it after that, put it down. But I think it's worth it. And it's like, like we said, it's very short. It's like five, six hours. So, and yeah. it's on Game Pass. So there you go. Oh, I will say it took me a stupid amount of time to find the tie clip at the beginning of the game. Oh, really? <laughs> it was right there. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, never mind. I thought you were talking about the tie itself. Yeah, that, that took me a second. I had to like go back and forth and then I finally I used like the insight. <laughs> you almost looked it up. I forgot about the insight. Yeah. Or I didn't know about it yet. But like, I was like, man, is this how this game's going to go? I'm going to not be able to find a single thing. <laughs> but then it was fine after that. Yeah, it took me a little bit of time to find that as well. And you don't really <laughs> use like the insight that much for, for like objects within the world when you're looking at stuff. You only do it a couple times, so like it's it's easy to forget. Uh, but that was like right at the very beginning of the game. So, <laughs> so bad first impression on my end. Just like right. oh, I'm <laughs> competent. Great. Oh, I suck. Okay, this is how it's gonna go. But yeah, we'll do we'll do a spoiler cast next week. Um, give everybody you know plenty of time to play through it and and kind of go over like the the major story bits, beats or whatever. Yeah, because it's got quite a few. Um. You want to go ahead and jump into uh, the news? Yeah, let's let's jump into this news. So, I just wrote on here GameStop. As the yeah. First, oh my um, god. Yeah. So, so <laughs> I I am very new to stocks, Nick. I mean, I you know I was texting you a couple of weeks ago, and you know, and I, so I've I've been dabbling in it, but um, yeah, I feel like the little guy won this week. I mean. <laughs> I, just, I, I mean, like, even yeah. seeing like, even seeing my Facebook, like, blew up with just tons of GameStop memes and like all this stuff. It, it's been hilarious just to kind of see like all these hedge funds just get completely <laughs> obliterated over the last week, losing like billions of dollars and have to get bailouts and stuff. No. Nick, if you, 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 you want to go ahead and describe what happened and kind of what we're talking about, and then we'll we'll continue on. So basically, there are a bunch of hedge funds that have been shorting failing businesses over the past year and and um, profiting off of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yeah. So pretty bad. And, you know, it's, I mean, hedge funds exist, whatever, but it's just kind of, it kind of leaves a sour taste in your mouth to hear about that. But they hedged against GameStop, which, which is like, it's a sound bet, you know? Yeah, of course. GameStop hasn't been doing well you know, COVID especially, and just, you know, the re- their retail business in general. But a bunch of Redditors <laughs> on, on the Wall Street, Wall Street Bets Reddit, and I guess it's like a, it's a Reddit where they just kind of talk about different upcoming stocks and yeah, and all this stuff. But, but I guess they found out about these hedge funds hedging against GameStop. So they all kind of rallied up and bought just a ton of GameStop stock. And yep. they- they're saying on the Reddit was to the moon because they're, they're going to take GameStop stock to the moon <laughs> and they wanted to get <laughs> it to a thousand. <laughs> they, they did. So on, on, I think it was last Monday. Yeah. It went from like $8 a share to, you know, 200 or something like that. And then the next yeah. day it went up to 350, and then it stayed around there. And then uh, the Robin hood app and TD Ameritrade, that's another, another um investing kind of website slash app slash company they halted all purchases of gamestop stock and selling right no no. you You could could still still sell sell. you could still you could only get out but you couldn't get in and that which is illegal right and that illegal to do that yes well (laughs) (laughs) it sounds really illegal um my my theory is that you know they were getting pressure from hedge funds to yeah. halt the trading of or halt the purchasing of GameStop. Also, I, I should mention AMC. They also got in on this as well. People yep. are are buying up. AM- I bought a little bit of AMC. AMC. Uh, people are going for like Nokia stock because that that got down. So I I actually bought some of that because uh, nice. it was down to like four four dollars and like fifty cents or something crazy per stock. Yeah, or per share. Um. Yeah, what a wild week, man! I just it's been so funny. Like, like, there's been but there's been so many stories of like people paying off like their their school debt mm-hmm. and like paying off their car loans and stuff. So it's it's been like amazing to see and just like 
and and then I think it, it started blowing up. It really, it really took off after um, oh, what's his face? Um, Elon Musk. Uh, Elon Musk tweeted out. <laughs> what do you? What do you? He just said like Game Stock or something. He just said like I don't know. He said something. It was like it was like like good for y'all or something. Like it was it was funny. The redditors but, got the the validation of Elon Musk. That's like a match made in heaven, right there. Yeah, and then like it eventually like blew up so much that normal people got wind of it and just started mm-hmm. buying up. So it just drove up the the price of per share higher and higher and higher. And yeah, just killed these hedge funds and had to had to bail out and get bailed out from the government and stuff like that. Uh, and then yeah. like uh, like you said, Robinhood, there's a class action lawsuit against them for for blocking you know, being able to buy stuff, stocks. Block in the so. free market, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah block in the free, yeah. And then, of course, everyone's like, well, you know, selling and tr- trading stocks and stuff like that and getting rich is only is only fine until normal people do it. <laughs> and then they're like, whoa, whoa, well, you, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah. that's. So, what was I going to say? So, I didn't know this about hedge funds until very recently, but they don't actually own the stock that they're betting against. They like they borrow the stock from someone, okay. from another, uh, from a loaner or someone, and they have to pay back the stock at whatever price. So, you know, if they pay the if if, if the stock price goes down, they pay back less than they initially got, I think. Then they initially yeah. paid for the stock, but there's like unlimited liability because the stock price can go up as high yeah. as the moon, you know. So, and 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 kind of the the secondary effect of this is because these hedge funds were losing so much on GameStop, they had to sell their shares in other companies. So it's kind of causing the whole market to go down, <laughs> yeah. um, which which isn't good, you know it sucks and i i wouldn't recommend going into the the stock market right now the second because it might go down more but it's just it's it's really funny <laughs> because yeah. these... maybe maybe hedge funds shouldn't exist it's like the end of the day kind of like like whatever i don't know it's like, like you're said... you're you're selling stock that you don't own and you're only benefiting off of the failure of others. Yeah. I mean, how, how much, you know, that's kind of like scum of the earth stuff, you know? Yeah. In my head, you know, I like investing in the, the prospect of companies, not in the failure of companies. Yeah. And I like investing in GameStop because <laughs> we're going to the GameStop. moon, baby. <laughs> oh my God. And then like all the TikTok videos and stuff of people posting and, Everyone was like, everyone was like, uh, going for all, you know, AMC, AMC, go for AMC right now, right now, right now, and then just all these other like, <laughs> other companies and stuff. It was, it was wild, man. It was a very, a very fun week. I wish, you know, it's one of those cases where you wish you could just go back in time, like the day prior, and just buy up a whole bunch of stock. But I mean, that's kind of the way it, how stocks go, anyways. But it's, it's kind of a, just random, you know. Yeah, but I mean, people are saying that this is like the most illegal thing a company that has ever done right in the front of the faces of everybody like the whole world of like, blo- like, like blocking block and buy like purchases so I, I and i don't know. think it's blocked anymore but like that yeah, was they, they, well they, they changed it and it may be different now but like two days ago they they, they were limiting it uh and that i think now you can now you can buy of, yeah because it's it's done but i guess the one the one reasoning I could give for for Robin Hood doing that aside from uh, getting pressure from from these hedge funds is they did have like a 16 year old kid kill himself because he had invested in a lot of stock options. Yeah. And it 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 appeared like he had lost a million dollars, but just the way options work, like he actually didn't lose any of that money. Yeah. And he was fine, but he thought he did. So I think this happened like last year. But oh, okay. maybe maybe they were trying to prevent something like that from happening from people, you know, investing all this money into GameStop and, and losing it all. But but by them blocking people from purchasing GameStop, you kind of 
you do that to everybody who's invested because yeah. now people can only get out and yeah. it can only go down. So it's like, yeah, exactly. So it was a while. It, it, it's been a very <laughs> crazy week just, just in that regard. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was, it was, I but it was that. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was cool just to see, I don't know, like I said, just the little guy kind of getting, getting their, their, getting their share of the, uh, of the, of the, the pie, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. It's cool to see. I, it, was, it was, it was funny scrolling through that Reddit and, you know, seeing everyone kind of, kind of rally around GameStop yeah. and AMC. To and the moon, Nikia, baby. You know, to the moon, to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so good. You want to read the, uh, the next yeah. story? Yeah. So EA has opened up a new studio called Full Circle and they're developing the new skate game. So it's, I think, what, Black Box developed mm-hmm. the first three? Yep. Um, and then they, they, EA, in their, I feel like they went through a year where they just closed down a bunch of studios. They, they closed down Black Box, unfortunately. So now it's, now it's being done by Full Circle. I don't know much about the, these develop. I mean, obviously they're, they're new. Yeah. So I don't know much about, you know, the, the talent that they have, but hopefully they do this game just as, you know, fill it with a bunch of microtransactions and, and stuff. But even if they do, yeah. like, we, we already have a few skateboarding games out now. So it, yeah, it wouldn't be. I need to go back, I, I need go back and play Tony Hawk too, as well. Yeah. 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 Tony Hawk, Skater XL. I mean, there's, there's a lot of good stuff out right now. Yeah. Um. So I I can definitely wait for this game. I think they should take their time, make and, it right, and kind of do it justice. Yeah. I don't know if that's through like a reboot or just doing a straight up Skate Four, but yeah, it, it'll probably be called Skate, just Skate or whatever, Skate the reboot mm-hmm. or something like that. But yeah, yeah, looking forward to it as well. Um, hopefully, hopefully they can do it right. And uh, I think I think EA probably learned a lesson with with microtransactions from uh Battlefront Two, and how just grimy yeah, and that was um but, but yeah uh, hopefully they can do do it right that'd be cool um we got a little bit more information about bowser's fury the uh, the expansion that's coming alongside of uh mario 3d world um the, the port from the uh from the wii u it's um it's roughly RP. uh like the, the main the main campaign is about what three hours long and then if you want to do everything it's about six, um, hundred, hundred, uh, cat shines to get in this game. So mm-hmm. it seems like a pretty meaty expansion. Um, I was already, I was already sold on getting this game, um, anyways, but yeah, just hearing this stuff just makes me feel even better about the future purchase that I'll be doing. So yeah, this, this sounds pretty cool. I'm, I'm really pumped to play just any more Mario that I can I'll probably pl- I'll probably play this first and then go through. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I'll probably I'll, I'll probably play a little bit of 3D World and then and then jump in. Um, depending on, do we still not know if this is four player co op for for the this Bowser's, two player? The Bowser's Fury is. Yeah, that, that's that's okay. two player because you play as Mario and um, Bowser Junior. Okay, that's kind of a bummer, but at least at least we still have a four player co op for uh for um. Uh, the main game 3d world and and that one's yeah. online as well so yeah. you can play you know play play online cool. cup which which is cool um yeah i mean what else what, what do we learn about this game we learned that you know you'll go through each worlds and you get like the five cat shines and i think there might be a couple of secret uh collectibles per per island that you're on and yeah. kind of randomly throughout your time there or i i don't know if i'll say randomly but periodically throughout your time there um bowser's Bowser's fury will come out and he'll like attack you and and you know the world will go dark and yes he'll attack you for a little bit and then go away i guess and then you fight him in the end and then you do that for however many islands there are until you get all all 100 cat shines sweet yeah Yeah. sounds like a cool cool little gameplay loop yeah, yeah, they're definitely looking, definitely looking forward to this. And hopefully, I mean, gosh, are there any other I mean, other than like the Zelda ports? I mean, have we gotten everything for like the major stuff for the Wii U? Yeah, I know you said like Xenoblade. No, 
No, we got we got Xenoblade uh, Chronicles, the first one. That one was Wii. Xenoblade Chronicles X was the Wii U one. Oh, oh was Wii U. Okay. Yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think we've gotten most everything from the Wii U. Even the smaller titles like um, Tokyo and Raw Sessions we got. Yeah. Like, that was kind of... I, I guess that needed a second chance on the Switch. But, we've yeah. It's it's weird being a Wii U owner and having played most of these games. Yeah. But, you know, I, I'm happy that, you know, a lot of people... Most people who, who missed out on the Wii U are able to play, like, 3D World and, you know, whatever else that came out on the Wii U. I don't think I can't even yeah. think of anything on the top of my head. But, yeah, the Wii U had some good games. I'm, I'm glad they're adding such a big expansion to to 3D World. Like, w- would you have bought this without Bowser's Fury? Probably not. Yeah. I mean, when I got the Wii U, it came with it, so technically I'm not double dipping because <laughs> I didn't pay $60 for this game. Right. Um, but I, I don't think I would have. I mean, it would have been cool playing through it with, like, the kids with using like modern controllers and not like the Wii U nunchucks, whatever. Um, that would have been cool, but I don't think that would have been enough for me to buy it again. So glad, glad this is glad this is here, and I'll, I'll probably still play through 3D World and get everything again. Um, that game is fun. I mean, it's I think it's a very like underrated Mario game. It's it's one of the best ones, and it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. So. I'm su- I'm surprised I'm so excited for this because I played so many Mario games last year. Yeah, <laughs> you know, 64 Sunshine Galaxy, and I'm also looking Odyssey. forward to coming out because hopefully after this is done, we'll start diving into some Zelda stuff and and getting getting some like 3D Zelda you know anniversary stuff, th- uh, 35, 35th year anniversary Zelda stuff going on. So yeah, so hopefully I don't have to wait like super long into the year for that stuff to happen, but. Yeah, we we probably won't hear anything before then, but yeah, I mean it starts in March technically, or at least that's when the Mario anniversary is done. So yeah, yeah, I hope they don't wait until until the end of the year like they did with with the Mario anniversary. Yeah, I'd rather have like a full uh, majority of the year with uh, with Zelda stuff that comes out. So yeah, I want to see really like looking for really games. looking forward to uh to what they have planned for it because I'm sure they've got something big. Yeah, I think I think they do. I think they'll have that Skyward Sword remake, and then a port or something of of the first few Zelda games, and then they'll probably have the Wii U, um, the Wii U yeah. remasters coming over. Yeah, and then Breath of the Wild too, probably. Yeah. I mean, do you think that's coming out at the end of the year? I don't know. I mean, that would be four and a half years after the first Breath of the Wild. So that's, I think that's a long time for development what do you personally want out of breath of the wild 2 i don't know better dungeons yeah maybe a more i'm gonna gonna say a very controversial statement here breath of the wild was probably one of the best games i've ever played it's not a zelda game (laughs) it's it's like it's it's just not i mean it's got like zelda characters of course Mm -hmm. but like outside of that i mean there's like the, the like the music, for example, good music. It's got a lot of like, you know, theme world music going on. There's not, but the, there's nothing that I remember specifically from that. Like, you go back to like Ocarina of Time. Like every song in that game is. And granted, it's a different game. I mean, you're using a little a literal instrument to mm-hmm. to to create songs, but like, it's not super memorable. Uh, and then, like you said, the dungeon stuff. Um, and then I, I don't know if I necessarily want like weapon degradation anymore for the second Breath of the Wild. I, I can understand of it that it's probably going to be in there, and it, and it makes sense because there's just so many weapons in that game. Yeah, because what would you do otherwise aside yeah. from inventory management all the time? Yeah, but same time, like I didn't love that stuff about Breath of the Wild. Yeah, but I think dungeons I think would be like the top of my list because like the 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 sh- the shrines were good. Um, but I don't know if I would want to do that stuff again, because they were pretty one-off in nature. Like they were like what, like five to ten minute. Yeah, ones. I mean they're five ten minutes. I mean you're, you're using it's mo- mainly like physics stuff that's going on with that, which, which is, is, that, which with is those, really cool. Which is cool. 
don't know if I would want to do that again. I think I want like proper, like proper dungeons. So you would rather axe the shrines and have like eight or so big dungeons to go through? Probably, yeah. And then, and then, like I would, I would still like to get like items too, because there's like no items in that game. Like I want the hook shot. Like no hook shot, no, you know, no boomerang, no. Like, well, there's nothing. a there's a boomerang. It's just it's just a weapon. Well, it's just a weapon that you throw at people. Yeah, you're right. You're. I just don't know how they would implement all this stuff in the second one. Like, like from a story perspective, like, because this takes place after the first one, obviously. Yeah. Um, but you know, are you still in Hyrule? Are you underground? Like, I'm just wondering about the setting. Like, if it's gonna be the yeah. same map. Uh, yeah, I don't know how they do it. I honestly don't like. I mean, I, I imagine it'll be a lot of the same map for sure. I mean, it'll still be Hyrule, Breath of the Wild, too. Yeah, but maybe uh, maybe Hyrule is gonna like substantially change from some cataclysmic event from, from maybe up or, or something. Maybe or you know or who knows or maybe maybe it'll be like then maybe more like I understood it why it was never like more of like a town i guess or like a prop you know where people like there's more people more more population density yeah maybe i don't know i the know it's a lot to good. ask the, the towns we have like um kakarika village that was a good town um the, the town you could build yourself i can't remember what it's called but that one was pretty cool build yourself not build but you contributed to it and do you remember that it was like kind of like on a cliff I don't remember that. Hmm. And you give them materials and you can like have a shop there and I don't remember that at all. I missed that. Did you you didn't do that hard? I don't think so. What? Yeah, I don't think so. That's... Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, yeah. I mean either way, I'm I'm gonna play it, of course. Sorry, what was that? Nothing. Alexa? <laughs> um I mean yeah either way I'm going to play it and and thoroughly enjoy it I'm sure. I Alexa Are stop. The turtles on Apple. Oh is is Kellen talking to Alexa outside? I don't think so. I don't know why it turned on. <laughs> um But yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm ex- I'm really really excited. I'm just I I cannot wait to see what they do cuz they had that really cool trailer that I mean didn't show any gameplay obviously but Yeah. But I want to see if they like improve on you know graphics, gameplay, dungeons, weapons. I mean, th- there's a lot of potential, I think. But there's also a lot at stake because you know this is a lot of people's favorite game of all time. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they have, up. they have, yeah, they have high, uh, high expectations, and and to call it Breath of the Wild too is also, you know, yeah, yeah, they, hope they got a lot to live up to, but I think they could do it. Yeah, have all the faith. Um, faith. I guess to end on a somber note, um, the voice actress um, Jeanette Mouse um, passed away at 39. Um, she was one of the the witch voice actors in the upcoming Resident Evil Village game. Um, I don't know which one she played, but yeah, it's super super sad. I mean, 39. That's so young. Yeah, I believe she was. She was battling um, colon cancer. Colon for, cancer, yeah. For like nine months. So it's yeah, it's really sad. I hope Capcom Capcom does something to like memorialize her in the game in yeah. some way, aside from just having her character in there. But yeah, I mean it, it's it's really sad because like she doesn't get to see how yeah people's like people's thoughts. response. Yeah, yeah. Because I I, th- I I feel like people are really gonna like the performance of you know the witches and and the main, um the main villain in, in Resident Evil. Yeah. So yeah, I wasn't really f- I wasn't familiar with her at all. I didn't know. I don't know what else she's done. Um, mm-hmm. but actually, you know, what, let me. I'm just gonna look it up real quick, just to see if there's anything else she's done. She might not have done a lot of 
think so. Voice acting. Uh, IMDb, there we go. Apparently she's done like TV and stuff too. Mm-hmm. Uh, she so yeah, she's been in some stuff. I, I haven't really heard of anything that she's been, but but yeah, sad, sad, and uh, you know, like you said, hopefully Capcom does something. I'm sure they'll have something at the very end of the game or something, you know, dedicated to to her or something like that. But yeah, hopefully, you know, hopefully the um, you know, we'll get to look see her here in a few months and hear her voice acting. So yeah, and just appreciate the character, no matter how yeah. scary it might be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm so excited for. Uh, I did. I did watch the uh, the demo for um, for uh, the maiden demo for Resident Evil Five. I, I haven't nice. uh, Resident Evil Five, Resident Evil Eight. I got. I, I think I missed like the last five minutes. So I've got to go back and watch it. But okay. Yeah, it seems. It seems. Uh, seems pretty. Pretty scary. So, yeah. yeah, definitely. Definitely ready for it. Can't wait. Oh, did you see so Resident Evil? Did you see the? Resident Evil 7 mod that had Bernie Sanders in a chair and it was the dad from Resident Evil. No, I didn't see that. And he was it's just him like kind of floating in a chair, chasing <laughs> you around with an with an axe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, those those Resident Evil mods they do, like Resident Evil 2, where they have um Mr. X. Like, oh my god. It and oh, Tom and Tank Engine. Tom, yeah, Thomas the Tank Engine was freaking hilarious. <laughs> they had some good ones. That's funny. Yeah, but yeah that is uh, that is the last bit of news. Nothing, nothing too crazy this week. Um, we're starting to kind of get rolling into to some games. Mm-hmm. We've got a uh, what um, uh, Little Nightmares two coming up here in a couple weeks on the eleventh, and then the twelfth is Bowser's Fury. So. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is, Le- is Little Nightmares on the 11th? Yeah. No way. I thought it was like late. No, February. it's on the 11th. It's coming up pretty quick. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah, 2 11. Wow, that's. Yep. that's... What, day, what day is that on? It's a Thursday. It's on Thursday. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Well, those are two, like, I'm definitely getting both day one, but they're mm-hmm. two, I mean, obviously completely different games so that's pretty cool so yeah, yeah we're starting to starting to roll into some games here so that's that's awesome game that's season awesome. yeah game season baby but yeah that is going to uh do the show uh this week um it is the end of january so we appreciate everyone that has participated in uh in our giveaways for for this month um we already announced um all the winners and stuff like that but stay tuned we'll probably do something else like that uh you know, soon we'll, we'll let you guys know for sure. Um, but yeah. for anyone, anyone that, you know, came up, came upon the show um, from those, those giveaways and, and have, have liked the show um, and, you know, and, and listen, we do appreciate you guys. And uh, Nick, is there anything else, anything else you want to say before we head out? Well, just, just thanks everybody for listening. And, you know, like you said, thanks. Thanks everybody for participating in all the giveaways. It was a blast doing all of them and, and you know just ha- having that kind of community engagement was pretty fun over the month so yeah like all the well, questions and stuff. ideas yeah yeah but yeah we will yeah. uh we will see everyone uh next sunday at 8 30 here on twitch if you watch live and uh yeah see you guys <laughs> bye bye <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>